The GK Plus drawing you see here is a result of using an online raster to vector converter. It takes PDF information and turns that information into vector information. And so we're looking at a GK Plus drawing uh, of a site plan. So if we zoom in here, we can see that the distance from the edge of an embankment to uh, a proposed dwelling is 3360. If we hit the measure tool and measure from, let's zoom in a little, from that point there to that point there, I'll turn on ortho so I get a horizontal line, we get a distance of 11.81 and it's supposed to be reading 3360. Well clearly the drawing needs to be resized so that the dimensions on the drawing match the real world dimensions that we get when we do a distance inquiry. What I'm going to do now is spend some time searching for the longest dimension that I can find in the drawing. And uh, I don't want to scale by the difference between uh, our 11.81 that that dimension reads and the 3360. I could calculate that factor but what I want is a much longer dimension. Now because the drawing is awkward um, and so crowded, that's going to take me a little time. So I'll stop recording and see if I can find a long dimension. The, the longest dimension that I can find, I can measure it using the GK Plus measure tool and then scale it appropriately. That'll give me more accuracy. Although I'm tempted to take this dimension across here, the 1133. Here what I've done is put an image file. I've converted the PDF to image so I can read it much better than in our raster to vector converter. And uh, I can see that I could use that dimension, but notice that one of the boundary lines is 36.52. That's been put on by the surveyor. So we'd have to take that as the most accurate long dimension. So the left-hand boundary of the site is 36.52 and that's our factor we'll use in doing our scaling. Well it turns out that using the surveyor's line information on that boundary gives an error. I'm going to try this one now where I've got a, a dimension that's been marked on the drawing on top of the surveyor's drawing and this we will take as being more accurate. I suspect that the survey distance for that boundary has been rounded off and that may well give us uh, an error. Let's try it with this line here which you'll note is 28.29. So it's supposed to be 8004. So what we need to, to divide 8004 by 28.29. So let's go to our calculator and I've done that gives us a value of 282.92. So that's our scaling factor. To turn this whole drawing here, we scale from 0, 0, by a factor of 282.92. And it'll take a little while for that to work because there's an enormous amount of calculations that needed there. And then unselect all and the zoom extends. So here we are, hopefully now in our scale drawing. So let's just try this one here. Let's use our distance tool to measure from that intersection there. Now I can't pick it up. Why is that? There's the line. There's the line. I should be able to measure distance from this intersect. Now we have it to and intersect over here, we get 3356.5. So I'm very happy with that as a scaling factor. That works well. But I did try using that long dimension there, and uh, that wasn't satisfactory. And I think it's because you'll notice all distances from the surveying software have been rounded off, and that gives us uh, an error. So that's something to watch and something to be careful of. I would have been more a better advised to pick that, probably explode that polyline, and then pick the line again, 
and it gives me a length of three five four three five three one so there is a slight difference there has been some rounding off so that's an, something to watch out for so i hope you see now we have a full-size drawing to work on